Good morning guys, it is Thursday after Ironman Wales, it's morning time, I'm in Aberystwyth as you can tell. I'm going to talk to you today about the race on Sunday, Ironman Wales. Um, obviously, I've done a few races this year, a couple of 70.3s and a short Olympic distance try but it was all really towards Ironman Wales and um, doing a good performance there and going quicker than last year. Last year I did 10.43 so I wanted to get sub 10 ideally. Um, obviously what I am aware of uh, being uh, a professional athlete for so long is you know you can't put um, big sort of goals out there that you're gonna determine as failures or not it's like when i started being a, a cyclist you know it was never to ride the tour de france it was just sort of to race my bike and have fun because then it's harder to sort of fail as long as you're having fun uh, that's what life's about and uh, yeah just wanted to be a better athlete this year um, and yeah, get close to that magical 10 hours because uh, I knew if I did that it would put me in a good place in terms of results. Um, so yeah, I was just training, nothing too demanding, just sort of enjoying my training all year, doing those races. Um, obviously with my lifestyle running Cafe Griff, a uh, little bike shop, um, I'll put the link in the in the description if you can go and support me there. And yeah, commentating with S4C, I commentated on the Giro and the Tour de France. So a lot of my training um, was around my work as well, which um, yeah, I guess I'm kind of fortunate that I can do. And yeah, my um, amazing family, little son of mine, uh, I always try to take them along just to um, be a good example and it's normally fun at the races with with my friends um, so yeah back to Ironman Wales I stayed in Tembe for a week in Kiln Park um, which I'll do again um, for sure that place was perfect in terms of location and my friends arrived close to the race day and yeah, straight into race day with the convenience of um, being in town. So the swim, we'll start with the swim, Ironman Wales swim. It was running the opposite uh, direction this year. Uh, the Friday night before the Sunday we did the swim in the same direction and you could definitely feel a current um, along the sort of parallel of the beach which was the, the long straight. Um, last year was particularly, I believe, quite a quick swim. Um, this year, with it running the opposite, I would say it was a slightly slow swim with um, Oliver Simon, the uh, first guy out the water, um, friend of mine. He was four minutes slower than what he was last year. Um, the most competent swimmer there, uh, first out the water, 51 minutes. I think that tells the story. I came out uh, on my watch, it was 1.04, uh, which is basically the same time as last year. So I've definitely improved by um, quite a few minutes. Uh, I was out the water in 80th place in the male category. And then I knew it was um, time to go to work. And uh, I had a plan, obviously my bike setup was ready to rumble and I just thought with all that, that I learnt last year from uh, sub 7 and cooling and core temperature, it was going to be a hot day, it's been hot a few days before and I knew that closer to midday, you know, you're going to pay for efforts, your body's going to overheat uh, and ultimately you can't go deep at that point. Yeah, you can't go deep in Ironman Wales at all, really. But I had a plan to go deep or to go harder on the first part of the bike ride because, yeah, I wanted to be competitive and that was my strength. 
and it was the cooler part of the day so I just cracked on and I normalized 300 watts for the first hour and um, yeah I, I felt pretty good on the bike I'd had form obviously from Font Remo. I'd been feeling good on the bike, I had some extra watts than when I left for Font Remo. So yeah, I just paced the bike off feel really, rode the climbs hard, got aero uh, and just fueled really. Um, I was going past athletes naturally with that being my strength. And yeah, I got all the way up to third place by the time I entered the run. Um, like I say, I don't really have um, that much of an idea of triathlon. I'm constantly learning, but I didn't realize that I'd have a, um, a lead biker, which was fun. And um, third place on the run, I started to get overtaken by a couple of people. I think I actually went to seventh at one point, but I came back to fifth, which I was really proud of myself um, that I was able to keep to my pacing strategy. Um, I think there was about five or six minutes between my fastest and slowest lap, uh, coming in on a 3.38 marathon. So, yeah, it's okay. It's a lot better than what last year was. And yeah, big thank you to um, Andrew Horsfall Turner and Ewan Jones and countless amount of people that were on the course, um, giving me uh, advice and encouragement and stick to the plan, etc. cetera. Um, Lewis Donovan was telling me that I was well ahead in my age category, uh, which I won. Um, and not only did I win that, I won the Welsh Championship. I was the first Welsh to cross the line and it was the first year in which um, Welsh Triathlon made Ironman Wales the long course Welsh Championship. Uh, so I'm Welsh champion, so Welsh road race champion, Welsh criterium champion, Welsh time trial champion, Welsh cyclocross champion and now Welsh long course triathlon champion. So uh, yeah getting there, ticking them all off um, <laughs> slowly. So yeah, what's next now? Well, I have performed well and I told myself that if I was competitive, I would, um, I was gonna pursue regardless, but how serious uh, I would pursue, um, I wanted that performance to answer that for me. So I think I'm gonna continue. I've had some really nice words of encouragement from um, people close to me that I respect and they s are telling me go for it you know you've got something in this sport and I, f I'm, I fully agree you know I'm I'm only young once I can only give this a bash once so yeah I'm going to continue on being the best athlete I can um, at triathlon I'm going to enter some 70.3s next year, um, uh, another Ironman for sure. Uh, hopefully I can pick up a few sponsors, I've not got um, any at this point. So that would be helpful for sure. Um, yeah, and just continue to work, continue to commentate and continue to try and live the dream really. Um, what races those will be, well, yeah, I'll let you know in, in due course, but um, yeah, I just want to say, um, yeah, thanks if you've been um, following my journey. Please subscribe because um, it's a bit more of like an initiative for me to do more videos. Um, this is probably the most boring video I've done in terms of just speaking to the camera. I am going to um, work on my editing skills, so that's the quality and the kind of maybe fun aspect of the videos can be a bit better. My editing is very, very amateur-ish. But um, yeah, anyway, if I do more videos, then I should get better. Um, yeah, I just want to say thanks, obviously, again, to my family, to my partner, my son, everyone that's close around me that supports me, like 
um, yeah honestly it uh, makes it so much easier enjoying this experience with training partners um, and just yeah everyone that comments uh, it means it does mean a lot to me um, yeah and I hope that I, I'm inspiring um, people to do the same because I'm a big believer in myself and I think that's what's I don't think I know that's what's um, making me achieve these goals of mine so I'm 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 still believing that I can be better I, I don't put any big goals or targets because hopefully it'll just happen um, thanks for watching guys this is Aberystwyth my home this is my training ground and what better place to reflect and make this video hope you've enjoyed my recap and thanks for watching